Hi, I'm Brian Williams from Northshire Consulting. Thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this fund review. In this video, we'll talk a little bit about the fund family that we're in. We'll talk about fees and expenses, performance against the category, and then we'll wrap it up with how this fund might fit into your overall portfolio. This is considered one of our shorter form fund reviews. If you're looking for a little more in-depth analysis, check out some of our longer form fund reviews that fall into that 10 to 15 minute range. Hey, quick reminder here, anything in this group or in this YouTube channel is just general education, not specific tax, legal, or investment advice. Consult with your advisor before you act on any of this information. A reminder too that we are an investment advisory firm, no affiliation to this fund, and we may or may not have a position in it with client assets. There's a couple things that we look at when we see a simple asset allocation like this. The first is equity to bonds or stock to bonds. So cash, U.S. bonds, non-U.S. bonds obviously fall in that bond category. And then we look at the equity exposure. This portfolio is more so weighted in equities. That means it's going to be a little bit more on the aggressive side. We know over time that equities have outperformed bonds, but they also take a little more risk to do that. The other ratio we want to look at is U.S. versus non-U.S. As you can see by this portfolio, it's primarily invested in the U.S., so we want to make sure that fits in with our overall allocation and our complete risk tolerance profile. This is an open-ended fund or mutual fund as we know it. These are identifiable because they have a five letter ticker symbol that ends in X. One of the things about mutual funds, it's a little bit different than an exchange traded fund is mutual funds. If you place an order during the day that gets executed at the end of the day, based on end of the day values, and that's different from an exchange traded fund, which gets traded throughout the day. Another key difference between a mutual fund and an ETF is a mutual fund's portfolio holdings don't have to be reported on an everyday basis like an ETF does. So when you're looking under the hood of a mutual fund, those holdings inside may or may not be the actual ones that you're purchasing when you purchase the mutual fund. This is an index or passively managed fund. That means the portfolio is put together from a rules-based list. That's different from an actively managed fund. An actively managed fund is where you have a team of portfolio managers and analysts deciding which securities and to what quantity will be in the fund. This fund is open to new investors, and this is not a leveraged fund. There's a couple things that we look at when we see a simple asset allocation like this. The first is equity to bonds or stock to bonds. So cash, U.S. bonds, non-U.S. bonds obviously fall in that bond category. And then we look at the equity exposure. This portfolio is more so weighted in equities. That means it's going to be a little bit more on the aggressive side. We know over time that equities have outperformed bonds, but they also take a little more risk to do that. The other ratio we want to look at is U.S. versus non-U.S. As you can see by this portfolio, it's primarily invested in the U.S. So we want to make sure that fits in with our overall allocation and our complete risk tolerance profile. We always talk about expenses when we do our fund reviews. Here's why. The expense ratio is taken from the return that the portfolio produces. The expense ratio is internal, meaning you don't necessarily see it. It comes out in the returns. We need a point of reference when we compare these expenses. So we use the category average. As you can see here, the expense ratio is significantly lower than the category average. Now that we've looked at expenses, what exactly are we paying for? If we own this fund, we're hoping that paying this expense will help us outperform the other funds in the category without deviating from the objective or taking on too much risk. This fund has outperformed its peer group eight out of the last 10 years. Thanks again for watching this fund review. We encourage you to subscribe, like, and comment below with your feedback. Be sure to check out our longer form fund reviews and our Facebook group, 401k and beyond.